I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report for MidHudsonNews.com. And this is one of my cats, Juliet, who decided that she wanted to be in the shoot tonight. You know why? Because she really loves Charlie Sheen. That's right. Thank you to my sponsor, Making Faces Salon and Spa in Poughkeepsie and Fishkill. Everything from wonderful hair services and makeup to eyebrow threading, waxing, laser treatments, and a whole lot more. Well, breaking news. I don't know how he'll spin this to look like winning. But Charlie Sheehan has now been fired from Two and a Half Men. That's right. Warner Brothers, who initially suspended Charlie for eight episodes, says they have severed their ties with the actor. Charlie also looks like he may lose custody of all of his children. The drama certainly continues. I call that losing Charlie. Duh! <laughs> well, it was certainly celebrities behaving badly as usual on The Celebrity Apprentice. The men's team lost. Former Survivor winner and convicted felon Richard Hatch was the team leader who managed to anger his whole entire team. But Donald Trump fired my teen heartthrob David Cassidy instead of Richard. But I've got to admit, David was really sort of a slacker. Well, Sean Penn thinks he can redirect Charlie Sheen's energy so he does some good with it. He's inviting Sheen to join him in Haiti, where earthquake victims still need help. That's right, Penn says the world of needs are on the ground in Haiti, and he'd like to introduce Charlie and his tremendous wit to the hardworking Haitian staff. Well, Charlie Sheen could soon have a spot on Mark Cuban's HDNet. That's right. Cuban says a decision of whether to make it a reality show, a talk show, or something else will be up to Sheen. Cuban says Sheen is doing some interesting things, to say the least. Really? Well, the late actor Tony Curtis's will has been released, and he apparently stated in it that while he loved his four children, he isn't leaving them any of his money. Curtis left his entire estate to his ex-wife, Jill. Now, Tony's daughter, Jamie Lee Curtis, is said to be contesting the will. Families are going to Rango. Johnny Depp voices the chameleon sheriff in the movie. The animated family film opened at number one this past weekend with $38 million. Rango is the first animated feature from Industrial Light and Magic the special effects studio founded by George Lucas. Matt Damon's The Adjustment Bureau opened in second and, well, beastly debuts at number three. David Arquette managed to include a reference to Charlie Sheen in a tweet not long after getting into a car accident. He tweeted, luckily, I have tiger's blood running through my veins. Ha ha. Thank you for your concern. He also tweeted that he had not been wearing his seatbelt. Photos on TMZ.com show Arquette's car was crumpled, but he was not. They do show Arquette laying on the nearby grassy area by a curb. The front part of his silver Cadillac looks like an accordion. The driver's door is open and you can see the airbag in the steering wheel had inflated. He was taken away by ambulance, but he and his publicists say he's doing just fine. So did you catch Saturday Night Live? That really was Miley Cyrus hosting Saturday Night Live. A regular bit on an SNL has cast member Vanessa Bayer doing Cyrus on the Miley Cyrus show. But this weekend's bit had Cyrus playing Justin Bieber in the bit. And in other sketches, Cyrus played Fergie and Lindsay Lohan. And in one sketch, a Saturday Night Live cast member portrays Charlie Sheehan as a host of a TV show called Duh! Winning! And teen pop star Miley Cyrus playing Lindsay Lohan in that one. Well, if there's one thing that Gwyneth Paltrow learned from her first time on Glee, it was how fast things move when you're making a TV show. She says there's so much work in a day and in such a good way. Here's what she did. She says she flew to LA, she went straight to the recording studio where she recorded the songs from that episode. Without a break, she went to learn the choreography, an hour to do that, and then the kids have to go back to the set and you're trying to piece it all together. <sighs> this was unlike movies, which are famous for being hurry up and wait. Paltrow says the first time around she thought, why don't they make movies like this eight pages a day? This is great. She's done it all over again. Her second Glee airs this week. 
Well, the Half Moon Theater's current production of Circle Mirror Transformation will be presented at the CUNY and Hackett Art Center in Poughkeepsie, Thursday through Saturday at 8 p.m. and Sunday at 3 p.m. For more info, call 486-4571. And please check out MakingFacesUSA.net, my wonderful sponsor. They provide Avis Cosmetics, an American-made mineral makeup that I'm wearing, and they've got a great special, a startup kit right now, Avis Cosmetics, that's A-V-A-S dot net. That's your latest entertainment report. For a new update daily, log on to MidHudsonNews.com. I'm Kimberly Kay.